Okay, hello, my name is Martin. Today I'm going to explain you something about the compass. Yeah, during the advanced course maybe you swam the square or maybe a triangle, but I want to give you some more practical applications of the compass. I will explain you yeah, with the use of three dives made by the dive guides here in Sharm el Sheikh, the Red Sea. Um, I give you some practical examples of the compass use so that you can see that we not always swim squares. So the first dive, the first example, practical example is the dive, it's called Temple. And in Temple we have a coral pinnacle which is visible from the surface. Um, but sometimes we don't have a mooring here, so we have to go a bit outward and we have to swim to the pinnacle. So, of course, when we are down on a distance, we don't know our way to the coral pinnacle anymore. So, I will explain to you over here on the whiteboard. So, here we have the coral pinnacle visible from the surface and here we have the boat laying on a distance. Yeah, of course we have to assist people uh, going down over here, so when we are on the bottom we really don't know anymore where is our coral pinnacle. So for this we use the compass. So when I'm standing on the back of the boat I point the lubber line, the red line, which is fixed, I point it in the direction of the coral pinnacle which I can see on the surface. Then I take the pestle and I put it over the north. So the marking over here, the zero, goes on the north. Now I go down, I have to assist people, so I turn a bit. I'm on the bottom and I want to know the direction of my coral pinnacle. So what I do, I put the north in the index mark, yes, and I have the direction for my coral pinnacle. So let's go to another example. So this is a dive which is called Sharks and Yolanda Reef in Ras Mohammed. Very nice dive. Yeah, we have two reefs visible on the surface. Yeah, so, well, normally we follow the reef, so we don't really have a need of a compass. But sometimes we see barracudas swimming in the blue over here. So what we do then, we go into the blue and we're going to follow the barracudas over here. And then at a certain point there is the need to go back to the reef. But we swim out a bit and maybe we can't see the reef anymore. So in this case, yeah, if you don't have a compass, you're forced to go to the surface. Yeah, but there's boat traffic on the surface, so very dangerous. So, what we do in this case, I give the example over here again. Yeah, here we have one reef. Uh, this is Shark's Reef. And here we have Yolanda Reef. Yeah, so both visible from the surface. So, what I do, I make an imaginary line. Yes, for the reefs, to the center of the reefs. I take my compass, yeah, and I put the lubber line parallel to this imaginary line. Yeah, it can also be the shoreline. Yeah? I took the example of two reefs, but it can also be the shoreline. Again, yeah, I put the zero on the north. Yeah, I jump in, and we're going to make our dive. We see the barracuda, so we swim out. Yeah, we follow the barracuda, so we turn around and around. And we go a bit further, so we can't see the reef anymore. Now I say, okay, it's time to go back. So guys, yes, I put the vessel on the north. Yes, and I have my original position from the reefs. Yes, yeah, so I now I can swim back to the reefs and I know my way back. Okay, this was another practical example of the compass use. Yeah, now we go to the last one. This is a, a dive in uh, Tiran, yeah, the Strait of Tiran, it's Jackson Reef. Yeah, what do we have in Jackson Reef? Often we make a drift dive over here. So the captain says to me here, Martin, please don't go beyond the, the beacon here, because there are big waves on this side of the reef. Yeah, so I can't take you and your people out, because the boat goes up and down. 
Yeah, so I don't want you to go yeah, further than the red beacon. But of course I can't see the beacon eh, from, uh, from down there. So what do I do? So let's say I go back to my whiteboard here. So let's say the captain, he puts me up here in Jackson. In this case, this is Jackson Reef. Yeah, not Sharks Reef anymore. So I jump in here and I make an imaginary line again. Yeah, like this. Yeah, I put my compass again. Yeah, take the lubber line. Yeah, put the vessel over the north. And now I'm going to dive. Yeah, I'm going in. So when I'm over here, yes, where the beacon is. Here's the beacon. Then when I take a look at the reef, I see that now the west is in the zero. So I, I know now that I don't have to go further than this. Yeah, so I turned 90 degrees. Yeah, so this is an indication for me. Yeah, how much I did of the reef. Yeah, I exactly did one quarter of the reef. So now I know that I'm at the red beacon over here. I can come up and I don't have the captain complain about me. Okay, so this was Martin about the practical use of the compass. So now you know it's really useful, not only for swimming squares or triangles. Thank you.